Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Um, me and Belvini, we're gonna do, we're gonna try to do three more videos, but I think I'm, I might only have time to do one more video tonight. Um, this is video number 76 of Beguiled Eden to Armageddon, Volume One. Um, I am pretty sure we have quite a ways left to go in this book because there are a ton of more um, sections. <clears throat> We're on the video 76 this time because I messed up on the last video. Um, this one we are on Serpent, Twist, and Turn. And this is where she goes into a completely new section. <clears throat> if you haven't yet, Warriors of Yahuwah and the Truth, if you haven't became a warrior in Yahuwah, of Yahuwah and the Truth yet, please like, subscribe, and share down below. And there is a, a uh, link in the description box to order seat seats or to drop a donation if you guys um, if you guys uh, get some uh, knowledge from this content or if you enjoy the content here or if um, if you at any point like would like to help <laughs> order some new materials for me to teach with. Um, if there's any books that I don't have that you guys would like me to teach on my channel, that would be the perfect place to, to go. And you can just leave a comment and tell me what book and where to get it. And I will, I will get it. All right. Um, so we're continuing on here. Serpent twists and turns. Science and religion are merging closer than ever proving our universe was created and not formed chaotically. This avenue of, of thought fits nicely in Satan's plan to have mankind ponder a great architect of the universe. Now in all caps, GAOTU, it's G-A-O-T-U, may really exist. A great architect of the universe may really exist. Scripture-believing Christians, or it says B-I-B-L-E-believing Christians, <coughs> have always known Yahuwah created our universe, it says G-O-D here, um, because the book of Genesis, or Bear Sheep, clearly explains creation. New technology using advanced telescopes, satellites, and planet rovers are pushing the, the envelope and establishing universal acceptance that heaven's intricacies could not have just happened out of thin air. Christians understand this, but non-Christians will be swayed to believe as the Brotherhood that the Gao Tu is a G.O.D. of forces. <clears throat> Great architect of the universe is what that stands for. Satan will make it appear mankind has taken a united stand on the issues of creation and those not ground in Yahuwah's word will be easily misled. <clears throat> Cosmologists have presented their theoretical conclusions. Our universe could not have originated from nothing. According to the laws of nature, there can be no effect without stimulus to cause an effect. At the beginning of time, a prior event would have had to transpire in order for heavenly realms to be as they are. Not being privy to what happened prior keeps scientists in suspense, as well as from ever attaining a true account of the beginning. In other words, speculating two atoms, atoms colliding to form a specific Big Bang theory does not tell us about a true beginning of time. And it's strange the word atom you, if you took the T out and put a D, it would be Adam, the same name as the first man in the Garden of Eden. <clears throat> but there's been a lot of videos I've watched recently that have spoken about how um, how was there all this other technology found from ancient um, ancient uh, civilizations, even cell phones, fossilized cell phones have been found from ancient civilization. And they're trying to find out and ponder how was there a first man and first woman 
in the Garden of Eden and, and this type of things like that. And they're also talking about um, how the first man and woman were um, of, the, of the Hebrew lineage or the Hebrew um, Hebrew race. And that, um, uh, let me see, I'm trying to think. There was a lot of information packed from those videos. Um, there was a lot of stuff on the flat earth and the Antarctic Circle and the lands beyond the ice wall as well. There's some people that have different opinions on that, differing opinions, whether there, it ends at the ice wall or whether there's lands on the other side. Admiral Byrd, on the other hand, he found lands beyond the ice wall that had prehistoric creatures, um, creatures that looked like they they were from other planets. Kind of like happened what happened with the Miami Bay, Bayside Mall incident. And they say these creatures are interdimensional beings, but I believe they could possibly be demonic entities from some other dimension that are crawling into our dimension or coming from the dimension of hell and coming here somehow. But anyways, that's all I have to talk about on that topic. Sorry. Um, and this is for entertainment and educational purposes only. <clears throat> Cosmologists have presented their theoretical conclusions. Sorry, I lost my place. Okay, Big Bang not tell us about a true beginning of time, which is correct. Um, we are left to ponder <clears throat> where those first two atoms came from. You cannot get something like creation from nothingness. A widely popular theory confesses to try and understand first matter by incorporating an infinite process of breaking down atoms, while the more truthful theory simply accepts a biblical account of creation found in Genesis in the beginning was Yahuwah. Years ago, <clears throat> Vesto Slifer of Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, found through astronomical measurements that our universe is expanding. If it is expanding, then billions of years ago there was a point marking a beginning undeniably a creation of everything that now exists. <clears throat> With his announcement, 20th century science opened its door to divine intervention being a serious scientific theory regarding creation. This set the stage to try and solidify religions under the pretense of a universal creator, a one G.O.D. or one Allahim theory <clears throat> or ideology. In 1993, representatives of the world's religions, Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Buddha, Buddhists, etc., gathered in Chicago for a parliament and produced a declaration. This document established moral guidelines that addressed issues ranging from sexual immorality to murder and genocide as being manifestations against the betterment of mankind. Their unified stand on serious social issues became a moral vision for all religions to agree upon. <clears throat> it was strategically designed to unite all people of whatever faith together under one set of universal standards. This jump-started a well-planned push for relig religions to begin to accept a one creator, Allahim, or G.O.D., by many names concepts. In order to gain full support, this proclamation allowed each religion's name for their G.O.D. or Allahim to be equally acceptable when referencing Creator Allahim or Creator Yahuwah or for Christians G.O.D. like it says here. The absolute where all wisdom comes. Um, even though, <coughs> sorry, their carefully contrived declaration honored an Allahim of goodness. It deceived attendance by leaving out Yahuwah's first commandment from the Holy or Kodesh scriptures, where the LORG or the Adonis states emphatically 
He is a jealous all. Here it says D.O.D. Who demands mankind worship no other Allahim except him. The Adonai Yahuwah is not the same one G.O.D. entity as other pagan G.O.D.s or Allahim. Such a, unified, such a unified plan by mankind to set up a world religious organization by encouraging one Elohim or one G.O.D. worship that is an all-inclusive flies right in the face of the first commandment. Only an anti-Messiah system would agree to bring all world religions into one. In one massive commonality in uh, honoring a variety of pagan G.O.D.s or Allahim's as being the same as Creator Yahuwah. Yet this push to join Muslims with Christians continued when 300 highly respected Muslims published a document in 2007 entitled A Common Word. <clears throat> in it, they stated that both Christianity and Islam's foundations are based on love of the one Allahim. In Islam, Yahusha called Hazara Isa is hailed as one of Allah, Allah's greatest prophets who taught the same doctrines as all of Yahuwah's messengers, which were to worship one Allahim. Muslims do not believe Yahusha was Yahuwah's son or Yahuwah in the flesh, but a prophet born through a miraculous virgin birth. The Quran also denies he was slain by crucifixion, but lived on and eventually died like all men. Even still, Muslims do believe Yahusha will miraculous, miraculously reappear at the end of the age with their Mahdi, or Mahdi, a supernatural messianic-like being. This fact was broadcasted for all the world to hear on September 26, 2012, at the United Nations General Assembly, when <clears throat> Ahmad, oh, sorry, guys, oh, Bella, Ahmad Dean, Dean Ahmad Dean um, Iran's president included all the details in his speech. He reinforced that a supernatural being called the ultimate savior was about to make his appearance on the world scene. Ahmadinejad, a high-level member in the Brotherhood Secret Society, actually said the man was a perfect human being and will come <clears throat> in the company of Yahusha HaMashiach, here it says JC. And the, the righteous will bring about an eternally... Wait. He also said that this arrival of the ultimate Savior, JC, which we know is Yahusha HaMashiach, but if it, he comes in the name of JC, we know he's the anti-Messiah. And they're... Okay. So uh, he said... Also said this. Arrival of the ultimate savior, J.C., and the righteous will bring about an eternally bright future for mankind, not by forcing or wage, not by force or waging war, but through thought awakening. What a comment, especially concerning thought and awakening being used to control mankind. This control involves manipulating mankind's pineal gland through entanglement of one's individualized electromagnetic DNA with scalar waves to bring about universal consciousness. Just like the bees mentioned earlier, this process of total mind control of mankind without having to fire a shot will be just as uh, Ahmadinejad claims will happen but at the hands of Satan. At a critical point in Ahmad Dinajad's speech, he actually gave the name of the ultimate savior, but the UN's microphone system muffled it. Coincidence? What do you think? I think not. 
Since everything else was clear as a bell, one thing is for certain. These were some very interesting statements coming from a man who literally hates Israel. Because it does not appear at all that he hates the, the letter J name or Yahusha. And he clearly makes that fact known. In fact, Islam teaches it will be Yahusha who kills the beast, the anti-Messiah, whom the Jews and others will be following as their Messiah at the end of days. Also, according to Muslim belief, their 12th and final Imam, the Mahdi, is from the lineage of Muhammad's daughter Fatima. Our Lady of Fatima is worshipped by Muslims and Catholics as the Virgin Mary. Everything between Islam and Catholicism is all cleverly tied to Satan's virgin cult. Evil mixed in with a little truth. James 2.19 declares, If you believe in the real Creator, then you do well, because demons believe and shudder at his name. Our scripture clearly reveals Satan and his entourage know Yahuwah's scriptures, but most of all they know Yahuwah is real. In fact, they know Yahuwah so well they can twist his meaning and confuse a person not as well versed. Satan did this to Pua or Eve and was successful, but when he tried it on Yahusha in the wilderness, Yahusha put Satan in his place. By putting Satan in his place, you find out quickly he is not greater or equal to Yahuwah, like some would have you believe, such as proponents of yin and yang. Satan cannot be Yahuwah's equal because he is a created being while Yahuwah was not created. Be careful when people in other religions try to imply Yahusha, well here it says J-E-S-U-S, try to imply J-E-S-U-S was Zeus. Claimed Satan, claim Satan is J-E-S-U-S's brother, tell you that J-E-S-U-S was just a prophet, or try to discourage you from using J-E-S-U-S's name against Satan by implying his name is being mispronounced and therefore does not have power. Yahusha was not created as an angel like Satan was. Instead, he is Geodi's son, Yahuwah's son, who has been granted great power over Satan by sitting at the right hand of Yahuwah. Our Father knows his children when we cry out to him in any language, as Abba or Father. Here it says the J name, but we know that's wrong. Yahusha, and it says Emmanuel, I'll agree with that, etc. Because he confused the initial languages in order to destroy the Tower of Babel. He is our creator, and in the beginning he connected us to him through his Ruach HaKodesh, our Holy Spirit, that resides within each human being. Just like a father in a huge crowd turns around when he hears the voice of his child say, Daddy, Father, Papa, or the man's given name, so does our Father in heaven hear each of our voices when we fervently call out to him. In fact, our Creator even hears the cry of those who cannot physically speak because he understands the groans and utterances of their spirit or their ruach that is telepathically connected directly to him. I am the Good Shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so... Even so, know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Next, And that is John 10, 14 through 16. Next time we will be reading Chris Mom, which should be pretty interesting. <clears throat> And I hope Brother Bobby doesn't mind. Um, I'm going to sing his short little um, praise song here. I love it. And if you didn't watch my last video, then um, you guys will be able to hear it in this video. Um, it's late. It's getting late here, so I don't. I don't want to do a really long song right now. This is um, Brother Robert's praise song. <clears throat> I wish I could have heard the whole thing. Um, he was just singing it from memory. Um, okay. 
So my favorite part is time to praise you, Lula. No matter, no matter, no matter what they say or do to you, keep praising you. No matter, no matter, no matter what they say or do to you, just keep praising you. Hallelujah, Yahuwah, all praise and esteem to the Most High, Abba Yahuwah. And me and Bella Bini love you all with an everlasting love, as our Abba Yahuwah and the Shamayim love each and every one of us. Everybody ready? Bella Bini. Go kiss it. Shalom, 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 until next time.